what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new my name is Kelly Yeager I am an NPC bikini competitor currently in my off season um, normally my videos are like lifestyle fitness vlogs but I'm trying to incorporate more of these try-ons because I just think they're fun and I live in active wear so I'm always down to try new brands and hopefully help you guys either save some money or get the right sizes or whatever the case may be so I have three different brands sitting in front of me. One of them is Gymshark, which I have been like waiting so patiently to film this video. I've had them for this outfit for over two weeks, possibly even three weeks, and I have tried it on. I have tried two of these, whoops. I have tried two of these pairs of leggings on already. One of them I have not. Let's just get right on into it, and we'll start with the pair of leggings I haven't tried yet, which is Kiava, Kiava? Kiava. I got the Marble Capri Luxe Fabric, special sizing, small, <laughs> from Kiava or however you pronounce it. I had never heard of this brand until you guys mentioned it to me and said, hey, we'd like to see you try it. So I purchased a pair. They actually feel very, very nice. Let's give them a go though. Uh, I don't know how much I paid for these, but I'm already gonna tell you that they uh, are a disappointment. They're cute. Like the, the pattern is super cute. It's a blue and white. It actually looks super cute with my Paragon hoodie. But you know when you put something on and you're like, hmm, I'm not gonna be able to get this over my hips. Uh, that's how these are. Once they're on, they fit great, but just pulling it a little bit, you could hear all of the seams like ripping. So I don't know if this is just a defective pair or if that's how all of them are because they fit good now. Like once they're on, like they're not even too tight. They fit really, really cute. But I can also tell you 100% these are not squat proof. I've already checked and um, yeah. They're cute, I guess, if you want to, wanted to wear them for like upper body day. They have this really cute mesh detailing down here. They are soft, they have these nice pockets. But as far as quality goes, <laughs> I would say not, not a huge fan. But once you get them on, they do feel pretty good. But like I said, they're definitely not squat proof. And due to the whole like threads ripping as you put them on, I doubt they would hold up very well in the wash, but overall I would give these like a 4 out of 10. Like I said, they're nice once you get them on, they're soft. Um, I feel like they would be really good for cardio if you wanted to do them, do cardio in them. I like the pocket, but just the fact that they rip when you go to put them on is like a no-go for me because I want my leggings to last. I will give it to them. They're pretty dang cute and they are super soft. So these are the Kiava leggings or however you pronounce it. If only they would actually, you know, not rip when you put them on. All right, moving on to legging number two, which is Fabletics. I had never tried Fabletics before and I got a seamless pair of leggings that I thought was popular. I saw Hope Scope review them, so I was like, okay, cool, these look promising because I'm really not into the whole idea of like spending a bunch of money on active wear clothes that I know I'm not gonna want right off the bat. That's why I got these, because I was like, you know what, cute pattern. At least, you know, I'm going into it with the thought of maybe being able to keep these. I've already tried them on. I'll, I'll, let me just show you. Okay, I wanna start off by saying I'm normally a size four in Lulu in bottom. Sometimes I'll be a six in tops. That doesn't really matter until I get to the Gymshark stuff. But I'm normally a size four in bottoms, which makes me about a size small in almost every other legging. And I did order a small in these. Now, at first glance, you're like, oh, yeah, hey, they don't look that bad. But they are they just feel so big. Like I have a ton of extra material through the crotch. Like, do you see this? Why is there so much material? And like this, I feel like I could, I could have a whole nother person in here. 
like the back gaps without me even doing anything. Now, that aside, I, like, I feel like if I had an extra small, these would be pretty good. But they have these cute little like perforations down the bottom. And I do think they make your butt look pretty good. And they're definitely really soft. It's just, they, they feel so big. They seem to be squat proof. So that's a plus. I would give these like an eight out of 10 if they would fit. The problem is the way they fit right now, I would give them like a six just because <laughs> why are they so big? Like why? I don't know. I also saw Hope Scope review these and she said these were like one of her favorite seamless leggings, which once again, I would give them like an eight out of 10 if they fit. But like, do you see this? That's just a lot of material, but they're cute. They're definitely like really high waisted. But as far as like sucking you in or anything, I would have to go a size down because this is just a little baggy. Your overall feel and just like look, I do think these are really cute. I like the little perforations at the bottom. They're um, pretty light for a seamless legging, I would say. They're not super thick. Okay, moving on to the last pair. It's the last set, which I'm actually so excited for. It's the Gymshark set. And I got a medium in the top because like I said, I'm normally a size six in sports bras just because I have a pretty wide like, rib cage. Um, and I got a small in the leggings. I did try these on already. I was a little bummed out. Now you might be asking yourself, wonder why she's so bummed out. I like my Gymshark leggings. I have never tried Gymshark leggings before and I honestly had high hopes for these because I've seen every single person in them. So these are the ones I got. I got the ombre, let's see what the tag says. Light gray to chalk pink. I thought these were super cute and like I said, I've never ordered Gymshark. I've honestly, like just being completely transparent with you guys, I have never really thought Gymshark was that cute. I do think recently they've been coming out with some cuter styles and they just overall like look a little bit better on all of the ambassadors or athletes or whatever. So I was kind of excited to try these. I, like I said, I've tried these on. After I tried these on, I looked up videos and it seems like these are the only ones that aren't squat proof and they're the only ones that have this stupid built-in underwear. Like what? what? Let, let me just show you. Are you guys seeing this? Do you see that? That's the built-in underwear that they put in to make sure they were squat proof and um, like not squat proof <laughs> at all. Like at all at all. I will say though, like this, if this wasn't a problem, if there wasn't the built-in underwear and if it wasn't so see-through, I would actually really, really like these. This sports bra, I, I'm too lazy to keep adjusting this, so sorry about the crouching down situation, but like I said, this is a size medium. I actually really like the way that this fits. And the leggings, like I said, I would really, really like them if this wasn't such a problem. But I do, I like the length. I'm 5'8", so they're like the perfect length on me. And I love the color. They're super soft. They're definitely thicker than the Fabletics leggings. And they actually like compress you without being too tight. So I, I genuinely really like these other than this. Does anyone else get out of, out of breath from trying clothes on and taking clothes off? That's me right now. With all that being said, I do, I really like this sports bra. Sorry, once again, too lazy to move this up and down. I do like this sports bra a lot. It fits perfectly. I probably could have gotten a small, but I think it would have dug in maybe to my sides a little bit. So I like the fit of a medium. I'm pretty flat chested, so I don't need a bra to be super, super tight to support like me running because 
these things aren't going anywhere. <laughs> So yeah, overall, I really do like this set. I think it's really cute. The sports bra fits great. It's really comfy. It doesn't cut in back here, which once again, maybe if I had a small, it would a little bit, but there's enough room there. I don't think it would. So I think this is super cute. And because this was my first Gymshark experience, and after watching some videos, cause I, after I tried these on, I was like, why in the world are people buying these if this is what they look like? Like I've seen in videos, like people will cut out the underwear, but then I just feel like these would be super see-through. Anyway, I watched a bunch of videos, found out that these are one of the only pair, this is the only pair of the ombre that came with the built-in underwear. So that's just me not paying attention and buying the wrong set. So. I am, I already ordered the one of the flex leggings and like that set, I'm gonna do a review over those. I, I wanna give them a second chance because apparently I just ordered the wrong, wrong set, I guess. But if you guys have these, comment down below if you've cut the underwear out and if that actually works. Because Whitney said that she just, she was gonna cut the underwear out and wear them for upper body day. So I guess I could do that or if, they're still gonna be super, super see-through. I'm just gonna sell them. I probably will keep this horse bra though because it's so comfortable. First Gymshark experience was not horrible, but this situation is not good. The one tip I have for Gymshark is if your leggings aren't squat proof, don't sell them. Like don't just sew underwear in to fix the problem because no one wants underwear in their leggings, at least not me or any of the females I know. It, yeah, just just don't do it. Fix the leggings because this underwear is so weird. When I tried these on the first time, Chris was like, what is that? I was like, yeah, I don't know. Those are my thoughts on Kiava, Fabletics, and Gymshark. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, join the family. Comment down below what other brands you would like me to try. I am going to look into some more activewear brands that you guys have mentioned to me and try to get more of them so I can do more of these try-on videos. The flex legging try-on will be coming soon. I ordered an outfit like those sports bra and leggings. So whatever that gets here, I'll make sure to try those on and let you guys know my thoughts. So out of breath from trying these on. That's sad. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.